All right, so welcome back. In this video, I'll show the outline for the rest of the length of the plane, and I'll try to get in the fuselage area as well. If you notice on the top of the plane, you see paint blocks. I place these blocks every 25, every 25 blocks along the length of the plane. I use that as markers for me to know how long at each point the planes are, or the at each point on the plane that marker is. Um, so you can see I already placed several of them down. This is 100. So from the front of the front of the airplane. I go 25 each length for the blocks, that's 50, 75, 100, 125, and 150. So I use this just so I know at, at various points along the length I know how long that is. So if I, like over here I know this is 150 just by looking at this block, I don't have to count. And my build, I use one block for every one feet in real life, I don't scale my planes down. I know most people do it at was that two to one or three to one scaling, where three feet is one block or something like that. Um, so they scale the planes down. I I don't build mine to the Minecraft world. I build it at one block for every one feet. It makes it easier to get the delivery done and the design, and also the shaping of the planes done easier. Um, but so let's begin here. This is 150. So the plane, the Boeing 747-400, is two, two, 231 feet long. So we go 231 blocks long total. So this is 150 here. So we we'll just count back. So 51. So this is 175. So this is 200 mark. And this is 225 and 6 more. So this is the end of the plane. 231 and then we'll come down here, make a notch over here, I think it's 8 down, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, and we'll come make 2 block spacing here and then we'll go 3, three spacings each, each layer down, so, so we'll go 3, 3 and we'll just continue that pattern all the way down. here so I'll bring this portion up a little so I kind of see where I'm at and so I think the last one is going to be four, four out four. okay so I reached the bottom already actually so it's connected here so this one should be in five and this is four. So the last two before you meet the bottom of the, bottom of the aircraft, you go four blocks and then five blocks here and then you get the bottom here. So basically from the tail you go the first, the first one is two blocks and then you go three block pattern all the way down 
all the way down to the last two which is four, five and then the bottom. And we'll go out and you see that it's basically shaped for the tail end. And so now we'll start on the fuselage area to get ready for the wing. And then I start the wing off at the 70 mark which again was this point so you come straight down along that same block so I've got one here and this one I keep a uh, oops try to keep this two block two block pattern going like this like that so just keep that pattern all the way out again this is my own pattern that I've come to do you certainly can do your own it's not the only way So it's actually so the last the last two levels will be one up. You don't not staying at this level, so you end this one here. And the next one is here. So let's see it's here. Oops. Right. And so this one ends one more higher. And so this one will be two two. And one more. Like this and this will be the top of the I believe that was correct. Yes, that was correct. So okay, so that's the front part. We'll go to the back of the wing. We do it at so the back of the wing will be at 120. So this is 125. So 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. So this is 20. So about here, uh, let me take this potion so I can do it a little faster. And I'll just bring this all the way out. Okay, and we reached here. So from here, you go one lower and go three out. One lower, three out, and then two. And then from here, it's one down, one in front, like this. And, oops, this one is too far, it's like this one over it. And again, you keep that, this two, two block pattern. You see the same, same out, or same pattern as I've been doing on the opposite side. And I just came up with this pattern to show the, I don't know how you say it, the bulge of the fuselage. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what you really call it, but you know, it kind of bulges out, gives a little rounder look on the bottom. So I, know, I came up doing it this way, best fit I could come up with so far. So it's again keeping a two. Okay, so this 
is here. It's coming nighttime. I'm gonna rest, take a quick nap. back here and continue on and it's basically just tedious work keep doing this <laughs> and this one we'll do it's going to be three three hours instead of two we start going three Three species. There we go. And goes up. And once again, you leave three. So we leave three. What is it? Two. No. One too far. There we go. So you leave three spacings again. Alright, so that's the back end of the plane, or back end of the tail of it. And the wing will fit right in here. Um, for this portion here, here it's filled in, you know, connecting to the front underneath the wing. I usually leave that empty and finish it later. I build the wing first, but so this is where the wing goes, starting from the front and ending, you know, and then coming out this way. And let me zoom out here. So, well, it's still a little. Not wide enough panoramic view, but there you kind of see the whole length and shape of the plane. So this is the whole thing. So the fuselage area here with the wing set right there, and that's it for this one. That gives you the whole outline of the plane basically. And so I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll start doing the wing in the next one.